Hi second graders, we have our last math video for the week. We are still talking about geometry and we are still discussing three-dimensional shapes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to know about 3D shapes. So today we are going to talk about 3D shapes and we are going to have to use our imagination a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Grant, have you ever put a puzzle together? Yeah. Okay. Well, a puzzle comes in all different pieces, right? Yes. Today we're going to do something and we're going to pretend we're taking a puzzle apart. Okay. Our puzzle though is going to be our 3D shape and we're going to pretend that we completely take it apart into different pieces. You know what this reminds me of? What? At the beginning of the year we gave the kids a dice that they could put together on their own if mm -hmm. they didn't have one at home. Yep. And they had to fold it uh -huh. and they had to put it all together. Uh -huh. That dice, that cutout is called a net. A net? A net. Not I, like a fishing net. Can I catch net. <laughs> butterflies or fish in it? No, you can't. A net just means the um, arrangement of a shape that when you fold it up, it becomes that 3D object. So if it's laid out flat, it's the net. It's called a net. Okay. Now, these are really similar to nets. The only difference is that you can't fold this all up. Mm -hmm. It won't turn into anything. It's as if you took an object and you traced all the sides, mm -hmm. and this is what you would get on paper. Okay. So if we take a look at the first one, we have a rectangular prism. Mm -hmm. Now we've talked a lot about the rectangular prism already, and we know it's one because there are rectangles that go around the sides or the faces of that object. Now, a rectangular prism has four rectangles, uh -huh. and then it also has two square faces as well. Okay. And what we need to try and do on this worksheet is decide does this set of shapes or this set of shapes represent the shape over here if we were to have traced every single face? Oh my gosh. Th I already have a big clue, Ms. Okay. Garquardt. What's your clue? First of all, this one has two circles and there are yeah. no circular sides on a rectangular prism. So there's no way it can be this one. There is not. You are correct. In fact, do you know what this shape would be? I'm trying to think of a shape. I mean, I want to say cylinder, but I can't because these are square and there's some are the rectangles and these are squares and where would they I, all go? I don't even know what shape that would be. I don't or think if so. it even is a shape. So if it can't even be a shape uh -huh. and it has circles on here instead of squares, it can't possibly be our answer. So I'm actually going to put a big X okay. over this shape. If we take a closer look at this, which is our answer, we can see the four rectangles that this shape makes up, even if we were to open it up or trace the sides. And then we have the two faces on the edges over here as well, the left and the right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to circle this set of shapes because okay. it represents like if we were to have a puzzle. Okay. Now, this one looks easy. <laughs> skip. I'm Let's gonna, skip that okay. one. You don't get to skip it. You have, you have to, to do, do it. this one but there's something on here that's a pretty good clue. Uh-huh. However, this one's a little bit trickier. It is. We have another rectangular prism, and if you look in your pantry, you're going to notice cereal boxes, and maybe we talked about spaghetti boxes and a box of brownies. All those boxes look a little bit different, but they're all rectangular yeah. prisms. So even though this rectangular prism looks a little different than this one, mm -hmm. it's the same shape. What I'm noticing is that there is a long skinny rectangle and then another long skinny rectangle and another one and then some maybe a little bit of a smaller rectangle, mm -hmm. but they're all rectangles. Mm -hmm. So when I look over here, I see squares. In uh -huh. fact, I see six squares and then I see six rectangles. So can I, processes for a uh -huh. moment. Let's do it. Both a cube and a rectangular prism have six sides. Six faces. Six Absolutely. faces. I'm sorry. Six faces. Yep. Six faces, but only one of them has all six faces that are squares mm -hmm. and the other one, some of the faces are rectangles. They can be rectangles. Yeah. So, so if this one is a rectangular prism, the word rectangle is in the name. It is. So some of those sides should probably be rectangles. Yeah. Not squares. Exactly. Not all of them squares. We right? have to have at least a couple rectangles yeah. for it to be a rectangular prism. And there's so, no rectangles in this one at all. Yeah. It's all squares. So let's put an X on the one that doesn't belong. And then we will circle the one that is correct. All right. 
They're going to do the same thing on this problem. Okay. But I see words. Yeah. Word problems frighten me. Word I'm overwhelmed. Problem. I need you to walk me through this. All right. Let's take a. I'm gonna. Let's take a little this. peek. All right. Okay. We can't get upset when there's a word problem. Okay. I'll take a deep breath. All right. Good. Word problems are not a big deal. We just have to really use our minds to think about the problem. It says, Kevin keeps his marbles in a container. I have marbles. Me too. The container that is the shape of a cube. Think about it. I have a cube. Okay, so think about a container that's the shape of a cube. Got it. He keeps his marbles in it. Okay. Okay. He wants to paint each face a different color. The faces of the marbles? Not the marbles. What? Marbles are spheres and they don't even oh. have faces. He's talking about the cube. He wants to paint each of those faces on the cube a different color. Gotcha. All right. How many different paint colors does he need? So basically we need to know how many faces are on a cube. Yeah, because if you know how many faces are on a cube, you'll know how many different paint colors he wants to use. So we need to count all of the flat surfaces. Exactly. And if you don't have a cube at home, you could use your handy dandy worksheet. How many faces does it tell us there are? Six faces. Oh, six faces. So I'm not going to write it down, but how many different paint colors would they need? Six. Six. Yeah. Hey, that wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't. If you watched the video. Why don't you turn this bad boy over and let's see what's on the other side. Let's see what we're going to make the kids do. Well. All right. More words. It's doable. Not bad, though, because this is just like what we did on the other side. Mm -hmm. It says Marcus traced around the faces of a three-dimensional shape. Circle the name of the shape he used. All right, let's look at our options. We've got a cylinder, a cube, a sphere, and a cone. Hmm. When I think of these shapes, I know that some of these shapes have curved surfaces. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't see any curves over here. Mm -mm. So I don't either. if it has a curved surface, you can probably cross it off, huh? Yeah, which is really interesting because they all have a curved surface except for the answer. Ooh. And you know, if I were to keep my marbles inside of the in shape a, that this creates. Yeah, with six square faces. I'd probably find my answer over here. I think that was a lot of clues that should help you guys out. I know they can do that with our help. Okay. All right, let's take a look at number six though. Okay. This does get a little bit more technical. We need to use the words on the tiles, these tiles, edge, face, and vertex, to label the parts of the cube. Okay. So you're going to have to look carefully at where these arrows are pointing to. The first arrow is pointing to this like flat space in the middle of the shape. Uh -huh. Trying not to use the answer. Uh -huh. Okay. So the flat, the flat, I want to say the word, but I'm not I going know. to. That flat part. Uh -huh. The flat surface. It doesn't say surface. The flat, the flat surface. surface is also known as one of these words. Yep. Okay, give me a hint on this one. All right, this arrow is pointing to this straight line uh, where those flat surfaces meet. Okay, okay. It's like the long... What about this bottom one? What is it pointing to? This is pointing to the corner. Or the point? Or the point. But in math, we use a different word for it. And that word has a different way to say it if it is only one point or yep. multiple points. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Okay, those were a lot of clues. It is. And then it says to describe the faces of a cube. And I think what they're asking is, what are the shapes? Oh, so, so all the flat surfaces? Yeah, so we could write something like the faces are all what shape is mm -hmm. each one of these faces yeah so what two-dimensional shape has four sides mm -hmm. that are all the same that starts with an s q u and rhymes with bear do you think they can get it i hope so okay 
All right, so we gave you a lot of clues today, and we think that you guys can do the rest of it on your own. You better.